name? Kate. What was my your name? name? Desmond. I'm sorry? Desmond. In your position? Um, uh, coordinator for attorney appointments. Okay, and what, what location is this? Tarrant County Courthouse. Okay, I'm sorry, go ahead. Looks like I was trying to get information about your case, you said? Yes. What happened? What are you talking about? I don't even know what's going on. I just got an email saying I have a case and there's a warrant for my arrest and I get strange things like this all the time. And they actually put a case on me in corruption and through the mail. So what happened? I have to get my email first off. How'd they get my email? I'm not sure. Okay. So what happened with the case? The case that I have was back in looks like May. Dismissed. What case? What happened? Just like it was a criminal trespass. From where? Huh. Right. But uh, here's the thing. When I wasn't recording, this stuff actually went through. So let's see what happened. They've been coming from all different directions, the police department. Where? It's like a shelter. Okay, Where, was it Presbyterian Night Shelter? They put a case on me for criminal trespass when I wasn't there? Can I press charges on them? Okay, so what do you do there? But it's still that if we need to have responsibilities for people that repeatedly scam to violate my rights and putting a case on me when I wasn't there, is, it, is that a crime? I'm just trying to get clarity. Your attorney's office? Okay, so do I have an appointed attorney to see why they put a case on me for criminal trespass, a whole case, and I wasn't there? Okay. Oh, I called and they, I got a voicemail. Okay. So the, uh, is that normal I, for someone just to put, do they give you a criminal trespass warning? How did, would they just put a case on someone from nowhere? Well, after they stole clothes and mail and then scam them out $125 on, um, for rent they paid some kind of way I keep getting punished and all these people racking up felonies don't have consequences. I was defrauded out of $125, and it's a felony to keep someone from their mail, and they repeatedly kept doing it, and I have it on a video where they tried to do it again with no accountability. They wouldn't give me mail from the IRS, Health and Human Services, or Social Security Administration. All of it was good mail with potential benefits. Each all my mail on the planet does not give the, it's created bills in conflict. I don't get good mail. Okay, well, let, um, can, will the courts have it? Let me get the number to the DA to figure out how someone can just put a charge on someone repeatedly over and over with no accountability and it kind of minimized a little bit. I'm not, I'm just, it kind of minimized a little bit since I'm uploading videos, but these charges would actually take place. I was put on probation, probation and my uh, a year's jail sentence was um, threatened for a con. So let's see how this goes. Let me contact. I have a felony charge right now in criminal activity, and it's supposed to be a misdemeanor. That nobody will do anything about it. I just keep you getting violated left and right. Okay, what's the DA's number to figure out exactly what's going on and how someone could put a case on me? 817. 884-1000. Fourteen what? Hundred. Okay, let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. Thank you. I experience this a lot, ma'am. I don't know you. Yes, I have some questions on a case for a criminal trespass. I'm sorry? They just started this. Um, I have a, um, questions on a criminal trespass for a case. Okay, is this the current case for that office? I don't really know. I got emailed and I don't know how you guys had my email address. Okay, 
but no, the crimes are repeatedly committed and nothing's repeatedly done. My abuser gets enraged and wants me to pay emotionally and does things like this. So he puts counterfeit emails that happened a long time ago that I never got and I've gone through this years. No one will investigate these manipulated emails and me getting mailed out cases. But nonetheless, or the felony charge I have in corruption that's supposed to be a misdemeanor. So no, I haven't had any kind of law enforcement. This is a DA? What's your name? What's your DNA? What's the, you're the DA? No, have you spoken to oh, the what did I call? department? What did I call? You don't want me to know what I call? What did I call? Okay, this is not the police department. I'm asking what did I call? You called the Tarrant County Criminal District Attorney's Office. And you don't want to know about crimes? Am I able to find out about my case? I have a case. What's your name? Case with our office. Yes, that's what I'm trying to figure out. What's your name? Okay, so right now I'm about to transfer you elsewhere. Oh, you don't My know what it, a, you're trying to transfer me elsewhere at the DA? Okay, this is this is the district attorney's office, but if you have not followed a report with the police, I'm not as saying that people do. I, I get treated like this all day long everywhere I'm at. It makes things really difficult when people are essentially trying to be psychologically abusive. I would like to know what's going on with this case. Okay, do you have a case number? Can I give you my name? And what, you don't want me to have your name? For the, that's not a red flag? Okay, you're the victim in the case? I'm not, you didn't want me to have your name? I'm going to be transferring you to-, to uh, Am I getting Danielle. punishments for asking for your name? Like I've had to endure years, am I being punished? IRS put me in timeout and made me wait five to seven minutes when I was defrauded out of almost $8,000. So since I don't have rights, before, is it a way that I can get the information from you? Because you want to transfer me when I ask your name? I don't have no, to have I'm your not. name. If you want to transfer I'm me and punish me for wanting your name. Going to be speaking to you, about the case. you just asked me for my case. Ask for the case number. Right. And then you said you were going to look it up. And then when I asked you your name, you said you were going to transfer me. If I have to get punished for trying to get your name, then you can just get my information and tell me if you don't mind. Okay, I'm not punishing you. I just want my case I'm information, ma'am. I just your identity. Okay. Case. Okay. It's Kiana. Yes, I don't know what's going on. I don't know how people got my email, but I got email that I had a case and I could go to jail. I have no clue what's going on. I don't know how they got my email and I have no clue what's going on. That I've had to endure Twilight Zones like this years. Okay, well, I'm showing this case to be closed. It's been closed since June of 2020. I don't know what happened in the case. What happened? Okay, that's something that you would have to ask your defense counsel. Okay, so you're the district attorney and you don't know where the case came from. You don't want me to know where the case came from. Because I've had this run around years and they said that with Randall Scott when the district attorney didn't want me to know with that and how I got sent to Turtle State Hospital. I, no one ever gave me the information. They gave me the runaround for months. I never get it. In fact, years. So when I told the district attorney that I had a felony charge and they said that they, um, they didn't know, call somewhere else. I said, you're the district attorney. Then they hung up. If the district attorney don't know, how can anyone know? Okay. Well, would you be the one who's been charged in the case? State law says we cannot speak with you. You would have to go through your defense counsel. So, let me make sure I understand. You get a case... And the only one that can tell you want me to believe that if you have a case on you and the only one that can tell you about your case is the district attorney, uh, your attorney. That's what you want yes. me to believe. I don't believe that. That, that sounds like a scammer. Well, how would, why, no. if people aren't racking up felonies for themselves, why would they hide repeatedly what someone is charged for? Why would they hide repeatedly while your child was taken away? That's clear cut evidence that people should have been in jail a long damn time ago. Nonetheless, it hasn't happened, and no one has the answers for these repeated, repeated stacked up felonies. No one ever has the damn answers. 
everywhere everywhere tells me to gives me the runaround to get no damn where repeatedly over and over and over decades but since it is government officials racking up fel the felonies for themselves with absolutely no accountability the con is the only way I can get information on these repeated misconduct is to talk to an attorney that will probably never return my calls like Randall Smith did well Randall Scott I'm not government officials with badges and guns and judges and attorneys racking up felonies for myself. I can't combat it. I haven't been able to combat it years. Okay, district attorney, you claim, and then the district attorney removed remove me in person. So it happens everywhere. I guess I'm not allowed to know this counterfeit charge. If I wouldn't have uploaded videos, I probably would have got it. Okay, okay ma'am. I'm, I'm sorry, but... Only thing that happened May 1st, the only thing that happened May 1st, ma'am, district attorney that won't take crimes, the only thing that happened May 1st was I was trying to report how human services stole benefits for me, almost $1,000, and then the police denied law enforcement and they wouldn't take my report. Then they conned that they put it on the card they never did. I thought that that was still a crime, even if it was health and human services, defrauding someone of $1,000. Nonetheless, I tried to report it and this police officer removed me. That's what happened on the first. Then I think in corruption, he set up a false case that same day to punish me for uh, food stamps that the government decided to still take bribes and steal. I thought of embezzlement was still criminal, but no one has had accountability. Nonetheless, the police officer told me to go to Texas um, to one safe place and I told him two other times I was arrested. He ushered me there in a police vehicle to get my arrest threatened again. Um, and that would have been the third arrest for trying to get help just in that one location. Like I said, I don't have badges and guns and stacked up rel uh, felonies all over the place unaddressed. So I guess it's dismissed. People don't want me to know. They're going to con any kind of avenue to keep me from knowing like they've done years. Don't know why my child custody rights were terminated. Don't know why I got arrested using transit and can't know because they don't have their life straight. But that's how it is for me, ma'am. They don't want me to know because they don't know. Okay, ma'am, thank you. It's just my abusers are yeah. allowed to get away with way too much. District attorney can't tell me. They are forcing me to go through this crooked attorney that will probably never call me back. Okay, won't call the police. And it's trying to cover for it and show. Okay, there it goes. Now, since I recorded this, letting me call. Yes, I have a, I'm not quite sure what direction to take. I'd like to speak with a court, but I was directed to speak with an attorney. It's a pattern I've had to endure years. I have a criminal trespass charge and don't know anything about it. Is that for the city of Fort Worth or Tarrant County? It's Tarrant County. Do you have that number? Okay, this is, this is city of Fort Worth. Their number is 817. Oh, one moment. Let me get a pen, ma'am. Just one moment. 817-884-1111. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I record the numbers because they used to give me the wrong numbers. Calling the Tarrant County Information Line for English. Yes, I'm trying to get information. I got emailed a case. I'm not quite sure how you guys got my email information. I don't know anything about it. So I just wanted to know information on this case. Okay, what kind of case is it? Is it a criminal? It's, cr it's a criminal trespass. Or? Criminal trespass. Criminal felony? Criminal trespass. Oh, okay, hold on. Please. Where are you transferring? They don't want me to know about my fictitious cases. I thought this was criminal. You're not allowed. We don't have our lives straight, so you can't know. It can't be done. You cannot order your own food, period. You cannot get law enforcement, period. You cannot get services, period. Authentic ones. Please be barnacle after the tone. No years of this. When finished, press pound for more options or simply hang up your phone. You're calling about? I wanted to know on a charge that I was got, uh, got people have not been willing to tell me about my charges years and some of them and including my rights being terminated. Um, they won't just they will not tell me, which I thought violated my constitutional rights to give me a charge and not know why you did it repeatedly over and over. Nonetheless, are you able to tell me how I got what criminal trespass where it was located and what happened? 
Okay, uh, so you have a criminal trespass from a specific location? Is that what you're Yes, telling? I don't know what's happening because I just got an email. I'm not quite sure how you got my email or how they mailed me out a case in Hillsboro when I didn't go to my abuser's party. Okay, uh, so you would have to contact Hillsboro. We wouldn't have any information on I'm not Hillsboro. being, I, I think that there's a disconnect. I was speaking about the one in Tarrant County in Fort Worth. And then I said that, that I'm just trying to establish that this is a pattern of okay, people mailing that, out and emailing cases. Okay, ma'am. So you're wanting a, you have a question on a criminal trespass warning that you received from No, it's actual case. In a actual case, and I don't know anything about it. I just got the email. It, it was, I went through all my emails. I just received an email with that. That's old, but I, my emails are manipulated and no one will investigate it. That and a con that they tried to give me records for CPS because I looked up CPS this morning on my phone. So now for cover up, they're trying to stage that they ever gave me, tried to give me my records. No one gives me my records on the planet, including the police department. Because the people repeatedly rack up felonies and don't want any a paper trail of their criminal activity. But I th thought that deprived someone of their constitution. They don't even like to give me release papers. And here at Fort Worth trying to report crimes at Arlington CPS, they wouldn't give me my release papers and threaten my arrest for wanting them. I wasn't allowed to go to court and they didn't want me to have evidence that I was in there on false charges and put in maximum security and malice on false charges. But nonetheless, for the criminal trespass, since uh, people repeatedly do this, how can I find out what they did and what charge I got and where it was from? Okay, ma'am. You're giving me a lot of information all at once. So I just wanted to know that the... You're calling for the Fort Worth Police Department. I'm sorry? What is the main thing that you're calling for the Fort Worth Police Department, not any other jurisdiction? I just don't know why all people are not concerned of everything that I talk to in all my environments. I think that this is a threat to national security when everywhere on this planet cannot abide by the law and does not do their mandatory reporting and all kind of other things that all their responsibilities as doing authority figure as being authority figures it's not happening i don't understand why people in integrity would not view this as a threat to national security when the government can no longer abide by the law i think that would be a collapse of the system when you can't find any law-abiding government officials on the planet not around me so everyone that I talk to is covering for an extreme amount of criminal activity and gaslighting in the process and not owning up to their responsibilities or reporting misconduct. We're deflecting off the fact that government officials cannot abide by the law and I just reported call to a police department and reported numerous crimes, but some kind of way it bothered you, as well as the multiple false arrests that I had reporting crimes. I just don't about, understand. Like, no one does, ma'am, for all right these now. years. No one does. The 200 and something reports is evidence that they don't understand. And the multiple different reports and the cover up for these people that can't abide by the law is evidence that a lot of people don't understand. So am I able to find out what they concocted, where the criminal trespass was for, the case information? Am I allowed? Because I haven't been allowed in an extreme amount of times and my freedom was taken for trying to find out. I just want to know if I can figure out where the criminal trespass was at that I had a whole case for. They would not tell me, period, why they terminated my child custody rights in 2008. My, they look all this time and they refused to tell okay. me. Ma'am, ma'am, do you have a police fire or medical emergency right now? So I'm not allowed to know what about the criminal trespass. The police department won't give me directions to know about the criminal trespass in Tarrant County. You're, you're rant, ma'am. You're rambling and rambling. I need one specific question. You're asking me a million different I'm not being heard, ma'am. I asked you if I can find out what happened with the Tarrant County. Okay, you can contact Tarrant County Sheriff's Office. Okay, about the criminal trespass? If that's who sent the criminal trespass? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, they won't tell me. I don't know what's don't going know on. I either, ma'am. Well, what, if I have You're a criminal... who has the information. I don't have it because they keep setting up uh, uh, cases on me without my without my knowledge. So then you need to contact Tarrant County Sheriff's Office. Okay, let me make sure I understand. Department. You don't want to give me your name, and you threaten to transfer me somewhere else because I wanted your name. So to I'm, I did not refuse to give. You oh, my what's name. your name? My operator number is in Lake Nora one seven four. That's my operator number. Do you want me to have your name? 
ma'am, we're not obligated to give you our names. That's for our privacy as a call taker and a 911 dispatcher. Okay, so if I have a criminal trespass in Fort Worth, how would I figure out what it was for? A criminal trespass case, a case. If you had a criminal trespass in Fort Worth, you would have been in person to sign that with the officer, so you would know. I don't know, <laughs> nothing. So there's no way I can find out how I got a case. You you would have signed that in person with They give you a case? A, a, a warning. I have a case. Okay, ma'am. If you think that you, a criminal trespass is a case, then you you don't have a, a, any type of criminal trespass because it would have been done in person with an officer. It's a criminal trespass warning. That's what it's called. I it's have a case. They keep racking up felonies. I have a case. Okay, I'm not being heard. Give me your report number then, ma'am. Give me your report number. Okay, just one moment. Another page, Ms. Leo. This is the second one. The other one was trying to talk to me. You can't stop it. The police department says it circulated multiple different times, setting it up. All kind of people watching me. It's clear cut. Someone that's not mentally stable. Nothing. Nothing. Let me get the case number, ma'am. I think there's a disconnect several different times. I gave you the report number. Then you told me to repeat it. That's, that's not a Fort Worth Police Department report number. Right. Okay. I told you over and over it was a case. A case. Ma'am, a report and a case are the same exact thing. Well, then why did you say that that's not a report, a case, and a, nothing? Okay, ma'am, then it's not a case number. I, I apologize that my wording is not the same as yours, but it's not a case number. Okay, so 1 8. One eight hold on. Ambulance now, ma'am, it's just something else. 1 8. Two six eight oh five. That is not a Fort Worth Police Department case number. Okay, so I don't know what to do. I only I only way that I could have gotten the case. I don't know. It was in Fort I Worth. Don't know what to tell you, ma okay, so it says do well, if it's in Tarrant County, would if it was uh, I was given the criminal trespass in Fort Worth, where else could it be? And I'm calling the police department. You would have to contact Tarrant County Sheriff's Office, ma'am. Okay. Well, then you should have told me that, ma'am, up front. I and just leaving me in the twilight zone. Ma'am, let me get you over to my supervisor. I'm not helping you enough. Clearly. I don't want to. I don't want these forced holes and punishments, ma'am, as I've had to endure years. Why don't you just give me the number to the Sheriff's Office? Are you there? That's how they do it. Like that when spoofers are allowed to control your phone and you go to your uh, provider and want to have not be defrauded out of funds paying for services that you can't get can't get your calls you heck emails facebook messenger everything else you can have nothing felony crimes can't get mail either yes your supervisor yes ma'am i am okay um you have a what's your name supervisor Elizondo. Hold on, all these trucks, people, police, uh, all gang stalkers, I mean everything. Just hold on to, I can't hear properly. It's like Secret Service is passing by too, you know, it is incredible. Since the police, I kept at? recording the police, it happens everywhere, even at church. They're not, they, they're leaving now. They opened the real door and started playing music. And then when I got my phone, drove off. They're trying to speed off and I almost got hit. There's a police that, nothing, nothing, wow. This is how my life is, every single day. I forgot what I was saying. Um, there's all kind of madness, like almost a hit and run, the police trying to get away. It's just incredible, secret service. They're telling me to go in like they did with the street cleaners. But can I figure out, this um, bogus charge of criminal trespass, like an army full of bo other bogus charges, I'm probably almost 30. Okay. I'm fine trying to find out about a criminal trespass I got in Fort Worth. She said call the sheriff's office or something to figure out what happened. Cause I don't know how you guys got my email to email it to me. My abuser has all kind of people violate me and torment me and create issues to ruin days every single day. 
So when I get all dressed up and have plans, supervisors will call, kids will call, people will start arguments, try to hit me with cars, deny me food purchase, all kinds of things to ruin, psych uh, psychologically uh, abuse me emotionally. This is a pattern that I had to endure several years, torment on Facebook repeatedly over and over, deliberate for mind games. Nonetheless, about the criminal trespass, how do I figure out what happened? So with the criminal trespass, you actually have to be present for us to issue. It's a case. It's a case that they don't abide by the law around me. So I don't know what happened. So you had to have been on somebody's property. The police had to have been there at the same time to tell you not to come back. And here's a criminal trespass warning. Warning, yes, but I don't have a warning. I have a case. So you never been criminally trespassed anywhere before? I have, but the, the, you have to come back to get the case, right? Okay, so where were you, where were you coming to trespass from? Um, the only possibility on May 1st was when I was trying to report the government officials defrauded me out of $1,000 worth of food stamps in a crisis. Okay, so is there an address on that case? I, um, are you are you able to give me information on it? Well, if you give me some information, I might be able to find some for you. Okay. I don't know what's happening. I don't. You, are you saying a possible address that I try to look it up? It's for Health and Human Services in Fort Worth, I believe. The closest one off. I can't remember the street, but it was close okay. to the police department. Okay, let me try to find it. Let me try to find it one moment. Are you able to locate the criminal trespasses I have in Fort Worth? Wouldn't it just uh, be one case, period? Not necessarily. So we, we don't, I think we just give a, we give a copy to the property owner and then they present it to us when you show up. I, so I think we have a disconnect. Like a lot of my calls, what does property have to do with a case? I think this is psychologically abusive to endure this call to call in in person. From somewhere that's to keep you off the property. Okay, can you repeat that? When you get criminally trespassed from from somewhere as to keep you off the proper and and the only person that can do that is the property owner or a representative that has nothing to do with the case that's a criminal trespassing okay so my question is on the case how many if i have one case it's impossible for you to uh, find out what case that is if there's only one i mean do you have a case number okay one moment You asked for the case number? Well, that, and, and what is your name? We could have done that. I found the case number now. All these calls are so difficult and psychologically yeah, abusive. But you told me about that case. You didn't ask me about my name. You asked me about the case number. And now that I got it, I thought you were making it difficult, sir. The all calls are like this. I mean, you were in control. Here's the case number that you asked for. And then you asked for my name when I got the case number. One eight. One eight. Two six. 805. Psych the torment in someone and psychologically abuse. What kind of consequences okay, so are those? This, okay, ma'am, listen to me. If that's your case number, that's from 2018, the year 2018. Then I have a case for 530-2024? What's that? I have a case that's court date for something in 2018 that happened. I've had strange things like this happen all the time. For CPS, they did the same thing. We're not, we're not part of the court system, so I can't tell you that. I'm just kind of curious on if they set up a court case for 5-30-2024, why would it be for tw uh, 2018 case? They've done it multiple well, different know, times, well, including CPS. Back with COVID, so I can tell you anything about that, but I don't, I don't know. Okay, well, what was the case in 2018 that you see? Sit down for all of being forced to talk to scammers, but you go to jail for wanting normal phone service? So it spins your wills. So he creates avenues to ruin my day every single day and hold me up, mind games, um, pl uh, playing around with your time. Repeatedly, oh, it's deliberate the runaround and wasted time. After all, ma'am, because it belongs to 
Alejandro Estrada. So now that case number has changed to somebody else's name? I, I, I'm thinking it's a case number, but I'm not sure. So are you making it impossible for me to figure out what bogus charges they set up? I'm not making anything Because the sirens keep help. going on, Secret Service keeps coming by, as well as everybody else, man, shelter staff. You, man. There's no Secret Service, there's no CIA, there's no FBI going around you. There's not? You had, or do you know me? Have you made threats to the president? Are you producing counterfeit money? We're not. We're, we're deflected on the fact that you have a case number that says states that it's supposed to be me. Ma'am, I, I, ma I thought it was a case number. It's not a case number. It's not for you. Now they have a staged fight. Years of this. What's your, what's your name? Keanu Clark. So your first name, Keanu. Now they may have a con for a police with one of the gang stalkers. It's incredible. Yeah, spell your first name. K E Y A N A. What's your date of birth? They drove off. Hey, Keanu. Yeah. Look, do you say that they're not the Secret Service, but it looks like the Secret Service that keeps rolling around patrolling the area. But you claim it's not. They're not. Okay. So your name's not even coming up in the They just told me I had a case. I don't know what to do. Because everywhere I turn, they're being dishonest. Who told you you had a case? Some uh, legal representation said that they saw a case. We're deflecting on the fact that I was told that I have a case that you now can't find. Call the police department. I don't see one. I don't see your, I put your name in the system, ma'am. Your name does not pop up with anything. Okay, well, they said that the case was dismissed, so how can I find out about my criminal trespass? Well, if it's, if it's dismissed, then you just dismiss it over with. So I'm not allowed to figure out what happened? I just have to take that? Not I knowing, mean, having a whole I mean, case I mean, and living my life I mean, all over the places, having charges and not allowed to figure out what they're about? And they got dismissed. They got they got dismissed to the courts. You know, I would like them. to know. I like. I thought that was my constitutional right to know about charges. I thought that I had. It was an obligation for people to let me know about charges, but they repeatedly won't. I don't, I don't see your name anywhere in our. City. I just want you to know, charges, calling the police charges, department, where I can get direction to find out about these charges. Ma'am, ma'am, there's nothing here. Okay. There's okay, but where can I go out. since you don't have it? Where can I go to find out? Or call, call whatever city you used to Okay, live well, this is the police department. department. What's the number? I don't know. Where'd you, where'd you come from? What is it? Fort Worth, you, I just. You're in Fort Worth. I told you about a criminal trespass. I got it, Health and Human Services. I, and I don't even see anything with your name on it. Okay, so where would I go to find out about it? I gave you a I case number. Know. You said it was for 2018. That's, 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 I'm not, you covering for crimes again. You said it was for 2018 for me. Then I said what it's for. Yeah, then it changed to somebody else's case. name to good. cover for the crimes to keep me from all these setups and uh, criminal activity Ms. and me being railroaded. Ms. Parks. Ms. Parks. We're deflecting by multiple different parties trying to use, um, raise their voice and show authority Ms. to deflect on the you fact that you told me that you had a case for 2018. Then it disappeared and then it was another party's name. We're deflecting on that. So no, I'm not deflecting anything, but I'm about to hang up on you. Maybe do you think the feds can hang if you, people are putting handcuffs? Can you hang up on the feds? The feds, the feds don't want anything to do with you, ma'am. Okay. I wanted to know where to go to find out about this case. Well, I don't know because the you're a supervisor. Do you're a supervisor, yeah, and you can't tell me what what direction for calling the police department to get information on cases. Because it doesn't have anything to do with my police department. You well, where would I go to figure out about it if it's in Fort Worth? You don't want don't me to know? know? I don't know. I can't tell you. I don't know where you've been. So I in Fort Worth? You. At the Health and Human Services? I've already told that you that you do know. You don't even know where that's at? You, if I give you the address, then will you know? I can try to find it, maybe. Well, you said you looked up my name and you have the whole case number and couldn't find it. That's not a case number. I'll tell you if it was. And it's not for you. They don't want me to know. And they don't want me to know to find the avenue since it's a con. They don't want me to have an avenue to figure it out. I'm, as they did with terminating I'm all of my, with my parental rights. This is how I've been treated years. 
this is how I knew that we were in jeopardy. If someone can help us with Secret Service, ambulance, police, gang stalkers, repeatedly over and over with no accountability that's not mentally stable, setting up people to have fights, setting up two people to stalk me and try to talk to me and distract me. I've been, how long have I, this, I've been outside 40 minutes. There has been sirens, fire trucks, nothing. I told you we were in jeopardy before COVID. It won't hurt them either. It won't call it. They tried to scam and not give me the number. Let's see if it call it. Now it's calling. More sirens. What's the plan? This is my life. This is not, they're probably about to put me out there. The police are um, speeding by with the sirens on. We have fire trucks. Secret service. It won't cut on the speaker. Now it will, since I'm recording. They hung up. Let me try to call again. They don't want me to know. Just like my terminated parental rights, you can't know. Just like the arrest trying to catch the bus, seven or eight police, you cannot know why we did it. Because we don't know. You can't know why you have a felony charge for a misdemeanor uh, crime. You cannot know and we're not going to provide information and you're forced to stay with it. They hung up again. These are the temps I'm years. This is not isolated. This is how my life has been. Trying to demand to speak to my daughter because I was going to be late. They wouldn't answer the phone in her school. This Twilight Zone years. Hello, Tara County. I got hung up on. This is my third time calling. Yes, I'm trying to figure out about out about a criminal trespass case I have. You're calling about a what? Yeah, I, a I criminal trespass on my side. Criminal trespass case. Okay, so an ongoing case that you have with the sheriff's office. I don't. I just have a criminal trespass case in Fort Worth. So what would that be? Well, that's not Tarrant County. Then that's going to be Fort Worth PD. I just call them. And they referred me okay. to the sheriff's office in Tarrant County in Malice. Okay. But is it an ongoing active case? You said it was a trespassing case. Is it against you? Yes. Okay. Do you have a case number? One moment. It's... You got to get a detective? You got to get a detective. Right. Hello? Hello? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, I gave you the information and you got to get a detective. You can't look it up. I just need to make sure it was Tarrant County's case number, ma'am. What's your name? My name is Rebecca. Do you have an employee ID? No, I don't. Okay. What are you to the correct department? Why, why did you get the information, ma'am? Because I wanted to make sure it was Tarrant County, not Fort Worth, so we could assist you. Well, who is it? Do what? You said you wanted to make sure it was Tarrant County and not Fort Worth. Who is it then? Right, because because you said it. Who is it, ma'am? So I thought maybe the case was with Fort Worth. I just wanted to make sure it was the Tarrant County case. Who is it with, ma'am? Tarrant County. Okay, thank you. This is what I think the scammers do to elderly people. So they can't, they're, they're trapped and all these fraudulent charges because they make it toxic and they're elderly and don't know that this can be done along with a large percentage of the world and being defrauded out of thousands, maybe some of them millions, depending on how much money you have. But in this case, I don't have, I'm not a very wealthy woman, but someone powerful is railroading me and using the same cons on me that they probably use with a large majority of other people. Not saying this is what's happening, but how can you manipulate web pages, alter them, uh, spoof calls? then have all these people supporting you all over the planet you deny all legal representation on the planet how do you get that kind of power how can you change someone's search results knowing that no one would ever believe your story and alter their emails with facebook and everything else they get on cause problems with free trial Alter someone booking hotel stays and to defraud them out of money repeatedly over and over. 
So the IRS has stated that they gave me the funds already. But the SMI one card scammers covers for crimes. So it helps, it helps people defraud me out of funds. That's for the COVID-19 stimulus check. And the two other cons, they gave it some kind of way, were able to give me the other two. But in the cons to defraud me, um, they gave me the one. But in the con, they were they defrauded me out of the other two. If you could put, uh, you claim that you put it on the SMI one card, why didn't you put the other two on there? Well, they didn't want me having those funds and don't want me having the third one. But it, since it's a con, we put one of them on, they don't want my um, child support payments being reduced. So they put one on there and then deprived me of two in their con. But they could have put all of them on the same card. But they were deliberately trying to defraud me out of money, so they claimed that they put one on there, knowing the SMI one is going to cover for their crimes, like they covered for thousands of me being defrauded out of thousands of dollars. But it would make sense to put all of the stimulus, COVID-19 stimulus checks, on all the same accounts. They forgot that in their con because they were trying to defraud me out of funds. Probably a voicemail. That's how it's done. And they never called me back. I, it is incredible. I have never seen Wow. They hung up. They just hung up. They don't want me to know. I'm not allowed. So since the Secret Service, Police Department, fights, two people trying to distract me from using the phone, stage a mental, Ill, mental illness, I've probably been out here an hour. All kinds of cons on these phone calls. Someone stopping in the car, opening their door with loud music playing. And here it drove off when I started recording it and I almost hit another car. They're telling me to go back into the shelter if they let me in it. I can tell you from past experiences, they are planning an exit strategy right now to put me out the shelter. They have to do it in a way that people don't get charged. I promise you from the pattern of behavior that I've seen, I'm not going to be here very long. I don't have rights. Every single place I go to Texarkana, no matter where I travel, it follows me because it's the same corruption. It's the United States government officials. So until these people are put under control and, for the, and get accountability for the mayhem they've caused and chaos, it's just going to keep following me everywhere. But here's the thing, even if people don't take a value in my life, does that in jeopardize your safety? How many people were affected if this school actually shut down in corruption in Atasca? A whole elementary school for a whole week. And the way that it was set up, they would not tell us when it would end. So each day we had to be inconvenienced and try to take our kids to school. I don't know if it was really a shutdown. I had, my daughter had a ride. It may not even have been a shutdown. The way that my life is, people con and scheme. The school actually could have been open. But I can't get answers under my, my um, what I was told that there was a shutdown. But my daughter was being taken to school by a ride. That eventually tried to set me up and all kind of other things. I reported it to the police department. They wouldn't investigate that either. So if you don't know who I am, you don't know who I am. I like to, um, I like to get glammed up, put on makeup, and get out. I'm known for doing that years. So I, I like to be active. Okay? That's who I want to be. I can't, I'm robbed of the capability to be who I am as a person. I like to be involved in church and constantly get out. So it, it was to the degree that my kids said, no, I don't want to go. You don't want to go out to eat? No. We always are going out. You, they, they, we were gone so much and doing things that they wanted to stay home a lot. Nonetheless, when I get glammed up and go, we secret service, police, fights, threats, it makes me terrified. I will not put on makeup. You think that I'm joking. I think the reason why I got um, banned for Caritas is because that dress. They didn't want me, my abuser didn't want me in there socializing with other people as he's uh, gotten away with years and wanted to force me to take my things to go and it forced me to be in a recluse. I was a recluse in, out of fear for a very long time. Then I said, uh, I tried to be, be involved with church members and they ostracized me. So I went alone. So then when I started going alone, SMI one card would defraud me out of funds for each restaurant. They put their own tips on there as punishments, as a strategy to keep me from going out. Then I had the cars and all kind of madness, you know, on all these events. The strange boat trip where they had two boats instead of the one that was advertised online. And I was on a boat with hardly anyone in it, all couples and families. 
I was the only single person on the boat. I watched another boat leave, jam-packed full of all kind of people. But it was a boat trip, so it's exciting, but that's exactly why I booked it, to meet people. I'm single, I would like to meet a man. But if the cars are speeding up like they're going to hit female friends and police want to investigate that, what, can you imagine what it will be for a male friend? Nonetheless, I get dressed up, and then with all this commotion and madness, my abuser wins again. And it, it just ruins my day. Before cases from nowhere, repeatedly over and over, the same kind of pattern to keep me trapped and forcing me into being a recluse, to be safe. Well, I guess since I've been terrorized to this point, I can't emotionally stand in the fights and all the madness that I experienced in just this one hour. I'll go in and see how long it's going to be before this shelter schemes to put me out. And for the abuser, I'm pretty sure you're watching this, this isn't a fair fight. Yeah, it's just not really a victory. I don't stand a chance. So it's abuse. I forgot to tell you about Greenville. I went to Greenville, uh, like a restaurant bar. That was a straw that broke the camel's back. After that, my, that's when I got job scheme that the YouTuber called them and I had to get terminated.